You mentioned <coughs> the Arab Peace Initiative, and uh, as, as you said, all, all the Arab countries adopted it, uh, even though some had uh, uh, you know, certain bones to pick with it. But um, the, the Israelis ultimately rejected it, and yes. you know, it's been 30 years since the Oslo Accords. Uh, we still haven't seen the formation of a Palestinian state. Uh, you know, wh when, when does enough become enough? Um, and uh, wh what do you think the, uh, the solution is here? Was, was pursuing the Oslo Accords uh, the right thing to do, the, trying the Arab Peace Initiative? Because it seems every time the Arabs do try to engage in diplomacy, the Israelis, they, they just don't reciprocate. Well, enough is long ago enough. <laughs> Uh, the, the, the Oslo agreements are obsolete, you know, because, you know, the, the Israelis themselves did not stick to the Oslo agreements. I mean, what Israel wanted basically is, you know, the, 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 the whole concept behind uh, uh, Oslo is that you have a, a period of, uh, uh, what do you call it? A, 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 a transitional period? A, exactly, a transitional period that should lead to a Palestinian state. According to Oslo, a Palestinian state should have been established five years after the signing of Oslo. Mm -hmm. That was, what, uh, uh, 98, I think. Yeah. Uh, so it did not happen. So what, what was supposed to be a transitional period, it became permanent. This is what, what Israel uh, want. They, they pulled out of major Palestinian cities, because Israel's long-term plan as an apartheid state is to have as, as much as possible land with as less as possible non-Jewish population. So they got rid of major population centers in the West Bank. They got rid of, of Gaza. But they want to control the rest. You know, today Israel is in control of 60% of the West Bank, military and civil. Uh, control. What is left for us Palestinians is only 40% of the West Bank. And just to clarify, the territories that we claim for our state is only 22% of historic Palestine. This is less than half of what the UN partition plan gave us as a state. And we're talking about 5,000 square kilometers. I don't know, but probably this is as big as, uh, you know, Canton or uh, uh, Vorarlberg. I don't know. Yeah. It's very small. Uh, so to ask us to compromise, you know, this equals, you know, political uh, uh, suicide. So, uh, no, we will not accept less than the whole territory of 1967, of course, including East Jer Jerusalem as capital for our uh, state, less than, and the evacuation of settlements, because all settlements mm -hmm. are illegal uh, under international law. What do you think the solution is going forward from here? Obviously, this is, uh, once again, a, a not, not, not an easy thing to answer, but nevertheless. No, no, uh, listen, now is the focus is on the humanitarian situation in Gaza. And specifically, the focus is on having humanitarian corridors in Gaza. The second step is, would be to move to a ceasefire. And the third is to quickly move to a political solution based on the two-state solution. There is no other way unless we will accept that violence will persist. But how do you go forward when the Israelis won't, uh, they won't entertain or contemplate any form of diplomacy? Uh, the cycle of violence will, will continue. Resistance will continue. We will never ever accept occupation. We cannot live under uh, occupation. So again, that's why I say, I hope the world community will draw the right lessons from what is happening.